All right, what's up guys? Tommy here with another Airsoft video. And as you can guess by the title of this video, the decals on the box and the tape, I will be unboxing the Novrich SSG-10 bundle. You could get this on Black Friday um, for a limited uh, time for only $330. It's pretty much everything you need to start Airsoft sniping. So I'm very excited to get right into this box. box and that's what we're going to do. So let's get our big trusty kitchen knife that's quite dull and let's just uh let's just get right into this oh there we go it's kind of like cutting in there oh yeah kind of do this with one hand so it's a bit challenging so apparently some peep some rumors were going around that novich was using sema hop-ups from a sema sniper uh in the black friday deals i don't think that's true but, you know, we'll find out in this video if you were curious about that. If you heard about that. That's what I was um, hearing from some comment sections in some videos. Some people were talking about Novich um, and his shady deals with SEMA. But I don't believe that. And if it is, oh well. Novich hop-ups, only 30 bucks. Not that much. So, here's our Novrich gun case. Looks like we got some uh, shipping stuff I, that has my address. I don't think you saw it, but who cares? You don't know who I am anyways. Oh, wow, that's heavy. That case is a lot thicker than it looks on camera. It's pretty thick. Seems pretty sturdy. And, uh... From what I can see, sorry if this camera work is bad, I don't see anything wrong with this case. It seems perfectly fine because a lot of people were complaining about thin case walls and how the bolt would go up and it would crack the case. Um, but I think Novich fixed that along with some other problems that they had in the first couple of batches of this gun. So I'm going to go ahead. Ooh. Yeah, we got a couple things in there, so it's pretty heavy. Get rid of this box. Exposing our table. Let's put the snakes back here. And let's get our gun right back here. Sorry if the gun is out of shot most of the time. It's because it's such a big gun. And I don't have uh, anything to stabilize my camera, unfortunately. So yeah, that sucks. But let's go ahead and flip this around. I'm very indecisive about where this gun is. I think that's good. We got a sticker on here. It's a very nice, thick sticker. Um, is that a sticker? Yeah, that's a sticker. It's like really nice. And then we have um, just a notice sticker. I'll get that off later. So now let's do the uh, Norwich unboxing. Uh, Q in the We have our gun, uh, we have our scope, three bottles of BBs, we got a magazine holder, looks like a, uh, some sling loops, and a, what is this, that goes right here, threads onto the barrel, and thanks to my brother for filming that part, I need him to film that, so now he can hand the camera over to me. Alright, so here's what we got in our box. We got some BBs, uh, one bio BBs, and two are non-bio BBs. So I, you know, I wanted to see uh, the difference between the two. Uh, you know, if uh, I hear that the non-bio are actually more accurate than the bio BBs, so that's going to be interesting. Then we have this, which goes on the top. That's just the uh, God. I'm blanket today. The uh, thread adapter, whatever. And then we have some sling loops. Then we have our magazine pouch. And then I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be another magazine. That would be a bummer if they didn't include that. Aw, oh, man. That's kind of fucked. I don't see the other magazine. 
So, yeah, that's kind of effed up. Yeah, they, they, I waited two weeks for this gun, and they didn't put the other magazine in. So, oh, no, it's right here. Okay, I'm sorry, Narvich, it's right here. All right, so now that we have everything, I'm going to go ahead and put it together, and we'll see how it looks. So, here we have it with the scope and the uh, black cover for the tip. Um, that's uh, what this came with to put on the gun uh, for this package. Um, I could not figure out how to put these on. I guess I'll figure that out uh, with time. But there it is. It's a pretty sexy looking gun. Um, you can see the scope, it illuminates. Let me, uh, turn that for you. You can see that. Hopefully. And it goes red. And also goes green. Yeah, so that's a really nice scope. Um, it goes from three, and you twist this, and it goes all the way up to nine. I like five because it uh, enables you to see the BB uh, really well without it being too zoomed. And then I'm pretty sure this is adjusting for meters. So that's a really nice scope. And my thoughts on the gun itself, it has a really nice weight to it. It's, uh, it's light, but it doesn't feel like a toy like some people have um, said it does. Um, it does have a rubberized feel. The A2 stock does not, but the A1 does. And the hop-up, at first I thought it was broken, but it works perfectly fine. This isn't a SEMA hop-up. Uh, the gun is perfectly accurate, shoots super far. Um, I had it over here, and that's all the way down, and I thought um, that was hop-up all the way up, and it was shooting way down. I was like, man, this thing sucks. Then I put it up here, all the way up with four 6-gram BBs, it just goes straight up. So, if, if they do have 6 millimeter point five two BBs, it would probably easily be able to uh, hop them. I'd say for like maybe 70 meters or about 260 feet, uh, adjust it to like four below. This is the 2.8 joule version, and that's a 500 FPS spring. But the bolt pull, it's really smooth and really easy. You pull it, and then you let go, and it'll slide right back. So that's really nice. Also, the trigger, it's just, it's like, it's a little click. It's like clicking a mouse almost. You might do it by accident sometimes. Um, and then I'd like to talk about the BBs. They're not perfectly white. Uh, let me get one so I can show it to you. Um, yeah, they're not perfectly white like Novrich claims. They're more of sort of an off-white. You're still able to see them, but I just thought I'd mention that. Um, because they're more of like a dirty white. But yeah, that's all right with me. I just thought they'd be a lot wider. Um, and yeah, this is a great gun. Um, everything about it just feels really nice. Let me show you uh, me uh, pulling the bolt, and then I think I'll do a, um, a seal test, which seems to be so popular with those videos. So yeah. All right, so now here's the gun. I'm 5'10", you can see. This is the gun next to me. Not too big. Uh, pretty well balanced with the scope on it. Now I'm going to show you uh, me racking the bolt. Very smooth. Nothing in it. Um, I would do the uh, little tests like that. Where I, I could test the seal. But because of this orange cap, I can't cover the barrel. So, unfortunately, I can't do that. But uh, if you've made it to here and you're watching these videos, then you've seen bigger YouTubers do it. You know it works. I know it works. I've done it without the cap. Um, so, yeah. Overall, great gun. Much more solid than I thought it would be. And, uh, yeah. Comment your opinion down below. If you enjoyed this video, you can... Make sure to uh, check out my other videos. I have much more airsoft videos. I'm planning on making more videos about this gun. You can put any suggestions down below if you want me to do a range test or 
just a full review of this gun, which I'll likely do. Thanks for watching.